Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be cutting some rocks that I've either picked up at garage sales or at rock shows. They haven't been cut yet, so I don't know exactly how they'll look inside. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so I'm going to start with this one first. It's the smallest and I it feels like the softest. Not quite sure what it is. It does have a purple hue. Not sure if that's coming through on the video. Well, it was definitely softer. It went through pretty quick. It is fractured up a bit. And I dropped it. Still good. Uh, definitely purple. But yeah, it's fractured. And after I dropped it, it's probably even more fractured. I don't know if I'm going to be able to work with it as far as cabbing goes. You could, uh, I think it'll just fracture up. Oh, there it goes again. Hopefully, eh, just crumbling. Hopefully, when I get further in in the middle, there might be a more solid piece and I can use that to cab with. But that's that one. All right, next up we have this one. It has a bunch of blue in it. I think it might be a pitcher jasper. If I'm incorrect, please leave a comment. Let's get going with it. All right, well, I do think it turned out okay. I had a little trouble with it. Uh, did sleaze the blade once or twice, or three times. I should probably change it out for the thicker, heavier duty blade, which I think I'm gonna do for the rest of them. So, cool. So I ended up liking this material a bit, so I decided to go ahead and cut a slab from the smaller side. Well, there's the piece that came off. But, it is a bit thick. But I do believe I actually cut it fairly even. That, this bit doesn't count. It didn't cut through there. But I think I can... I can work some stuff in here. I can always grind down the thickness. So, I'm excited for that. I like this green and brown pattern. Cool. All right, well, I got the thicker, heavier duty blade on now. So I think I'm gonna go ahead with this one next. It, I believe, is a banded agate. I'm gonna take the, uh, just this bit off, see how it looks like inside. All right.
think it's kind of neat. Some different patterns, some good uh, layers. Quartz, crystals, maybe. Well, it'll be fun to see what the next slice looks like, but I'm going to hold off doing that so I can get to the other rocks. All right. All right, the next one up is uh, this one. I think it's a red jasper with some veins of agate and maybe some other stuff going on in there. So, I think I'm going to take this one right down the middle. Wow, I did not expect that. That's pretty neat, in my opinion. Can't wait. Well, yeah, I'm going to take a slab off of this later. Definitely going to be cabin this material. Well, with this heavier, thicker blade, it's been going a lot smoother, so we'll get to the last one here. I uh, believe it is an agate with some quartz on two sides I really do like the pattern of the quartz so I want to kind of miss that so I'm just going to take take it off right there see how it turns out All right, well, this seems like a good time for this video's rock joke. So let's see. Uh, all right. Why did the geologist turn on the TV? Because he wanted to see the felled spar against each other. Whew. I really don't know if these are going to get better. Well, definitely not an agate. <laughs> Cut too smooth. There might be a rind of it. Yeah, I think that's what it is. There's a rind of agate with quartz in the middle. Neat. All right, well, I did get through all five rocks. It was helpful to switch out the blade to the heavier duty one. Wish I had thought about that earlier when I started this. But I will say that this red one is my favorite with the coloring pattern. I will be working with it sooner than I thought I would. Unfortunately, with this purple one, I think it's too fractured and soft to do much with. I think if I do, it'll just crumble, but I'll give it a go. With that being said, stay tuned for future videos. And if you've liked what you've seen, hit that like button. And if you wish, you can subscribe. And if you have any tips, tricks, or advice, I would appreciate it. As I'm still new to this, any advice would be helpful. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Bye.